Order in the court. I am doing a verdict watch, and this is out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This happened August 29th, 2021. Andres Danielle Martina, 53, would move back to Milwaukee from Indiana. He wanted to build a relationship with his grandsons, who are 12 and 8 years old now. Prior to this tragic time, Earlier, Martina had lived up the street from the family's home and he'd worked at an ice cream parlor where he would bring treats and to the, to his grandchildren and he would take them shopping. The boys would spend the night with their grandfather on, on this unfortunate day and he was supposed to be taking them shopping the following day for school clothes in the middle of the night. Martina had awakened and found that his wallet was open and he thought that money had been stolen out of his wallet and he thought, of course, his grandsons were the culprit. He began insulting both of his grandsons simultaneously. Then his rage would only turn to the 12-year-old, Andre R. Smith II. He would beat him with a mallet, a sledgehammer, two belts, a coat rack, a wooden cane over and over again anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes and some articles said up to five hours he was beating this little 12 year old and martina even had admitted that he was beating his grandson for hours unfortunately the great grandmother was there and that's martina's mother but she is disabled and she could not intervene she only could watch and she witnessed her son hitting her grandson with a hammer andre tried to escape several times from his grandfather's grasp even locking himself in the bathroom which martinez picked the lock to the bathroom and was able to drag him back out and continue this vicious beating. Martina had texted the maternal great-grandmother and accused Andre of stealing his money in the text. She would ask, where was Andre? He would reply, bleeding. The grandmother went to the house along with her daughter, that's Andre's biological mother and the mother's boyfriend. So these three would arrive to the home. When they got there, they took both boys to the hospital. Andre at this time was unconscious and he had a severe head wound. Little eight-year-old boy had injuries too. He had suffered head lacerations and his finger was fractured and he also had bruising consistent with child abuse. Unfortunately, Andre would succumb to his injuries at the hands of his grandfather and he did die. Honestly, this was a bit much. This was on some rage for real. He could have went to the area of where these boys was and maybe checked the area even though Andre had turned his pockets inside out to show he didn't have any money in his pockets. But this was just too much. Way too much. Police would find in the home after Martinez had fled methamphetamine pills, marijuana, and a firearm. Now they would arrest this man after he did escape. They finally found him. They arrested him on Monday. He has a $750,000 cash bond. Martina remains under the highest supervision, GPS monitoring, and 24-hour curfew with no exceptions if he makes bail. He also cannot contact any family members under 18 years old. He can't even contact them just to say he's sorry for what happens if he did. That is going to be additional charges that will concur on his already charges. His biological daughter, Nikita Martina, said, quote, I was going to give you a chance, man. I warned you. I begged you to stay away from my kids. Andre didn't deserve what you did to them, unquote. Now, I did read in another article somewhat that same quote, but she did add that she hated her father now. And she is kind of believing that 
um, well, she did not give permission for her sons to be over there. And she did not know that her sons was over there. Because obviously, if she says, I've warned you and I begged you to stay away from my kids, then obviously she didn't know that her babies were over there. And um, she did not have a great upbringing with her own father. So I guess she was being very protective over her own sons. And we see why. The maternal grandmother, Aisha McCoy, that's Andre's grandmother, and the legal guardian, that's what it said in one of these articles, she would say to the journal Sentinel that Andre had a rough childhood and upbringing, and he had been seeing a crisis therapist for the last year, and he was showing progress. He was gra gradually getting back to being a kid. She added he was a light in a dark place. Even though he had a rough childhood, he was just bright. I don't see how people could harm kids, period, but especially not Andre. His smile was so infectious. Andre liked watching his little brother play basketball. He wanted to become an architect. On his free time, he loved building on these video games such as Minecraft and Roblox and Legos. Martina did admit that he did lose control, and Martina had been convicted of first-degree reckless homicide back in June of 1989, and he did some time. Martina had actually told the boys in the past, quote, if you lie, if you mess up, if you steal, I'm going to kill you. He added, I'm going to have to deal with this shit for the rest of my life, unquote. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Andreas Martina. Justice for Andre.